What's poppin' people, today is Sunday and this is gonna be a quick one, kinda like an update video, kinda like a coding video, something in between, but today we're just gonna be working on a couple of the gyro issues which we have, primarily the wrapping of the text in the titles, because right now, if the title is too long for the text on the front page, we get some issues, we get some errors, we get some pixel overflows at the bottom of that particular list, which we need to solve. So that's gonna be the main priority of today. After that, you know, we'll see if we have the energy, if we have the passion to dive into anything else, but I think we're gonna just try to solve that today. In my head, that feels like a major obstacle, but it probably isn't as big of an obstacle as I'm thinking it is. We're gonna get to work, see what happens. Let's do it. So here I am coding away in the closet that I've turned into a home office. That's what we call rebranding, my people. I started off working on the about page because before it was relatively ugly. There was just the licenses and all that stuff, which you don't really need to show up front. You can kind of bury it in the deep so that people don't really find it. But you know, you still gotta have it there just because the app stores and the Google Play stores require it. But other than that, it doesn't really serve a function for the general user, so we buried that deep, deep, deep into the about page. After that, we moved on to the wrapping to make sure that all of the wrapping of the text fits and that we can put the and that we can put longer titles on the pages and that it doesn't mess up and overflow everything, which it did before. This was quite a hassle to begin with, but I figured it out. I found some good widgets which you can use to wrap text and then make sure that the text is too long and will end with a dot, dot, dot. And things like that. Nothing too difficult, nothing too straightforward. What I don't have here and what I don't show is when I work on the Google sign in because this required a lot of like SHA 1 fingerprints, which is quite a lot of sensitive information on the screen, which I don't really want to show. But we managed to implement that as well. So now you can sign in, you can sign out with Google, which is really fancy, makes it look really legit, and is pretty damn cool. What's popping? I believe that a week has passed since the last time I filmed, so you know, quite a quite a long stretch of time which has passed so within this period of time I've gotten quite a bit done not too much you know I've been quite busy with work like my daytime job as well as going to the gym for the gains because the gains don't stop like you know but nevertheless we managed to get some quite important things done which I'm quite happy about we we worked on what I showed you before in the in the screen recording and the, the little voice over there and then yesterday I managed to do a big accomplishment which I'm quite proud of which was to integrate Google with the app. So nowadays you can also use Google to sign in the app and you can use it to sign up, sign in. You can get your details from Google, all that is a bit safer I think. People may be more comfortable using Google as opposed to just putting their details into some random app that some kid built in his uh, closet. So that's probably positive news for the app. Other than that, we also managed to restructure the about page. So if you go to about the app, there's you know a little bit of a redesign, there's some pictures, there's some text. We bury the licenses so that they're not that easy to find because you know they're not pretty and they're not that interesting to be quite frank. Moreover, another thing which I'm quite proud of is that the, the account details page is now editable. So if you if you get married, you know, if you decide you want to have a cool nickname on the app, for example, you can change your name. Let me show you some of these improvements. I'll show you on the on the computer. So here we are, I'm just gonna go do a quick demo. For example, if you wanna change your name, you can just, you know, uh, we'll call myself German instead of Herman. And then we'll say, hey German, you know? And then we can log out. We can log in. We can use Google, continue. We pick the right one. And boom, we're logged in. Change it back to Herman. That's good stuff. We can go to about this app. And here we have some, some stuff. And then back here you can view the licenses. All that stuff. Yeah, quite good. Uh, some real good stuff. So now if we look it over to our board here. If we look at these ones, we have just have four issues left which are connected to the test of the app. So three of them have to do with audio, which is quite com uh, complicated, which is why I left it for the end. And then one has to do with the uh, recommended sagas or the similar sagas that appear on the saga page. Because right now it's showing all of them, but we only need to show the related ones. So yeah, quite major improvement. I'm quite uh, quite happy with that, quite proud of the progress which we're making. I think we have one more coding video to do, and then which is probably gonna be the audio, that's quite complicated. I'll probably try to do that next weekend. 
Again, probably gonna take all weekend for one issue because right now you can only play the audio on the audio page. But we wanted to be able to play globally, no matter if you're searching for other sagas and all that kind of stuff. You want to be able to see the audio whenever, wherever you are on the app. Yeah, good stuff. I mean, this was just a quick update, uh, just documenting this whole process. I think that now we're going to start to get into some of the more interesting parts. We're going to build the website, we're going to start buying the saga from Fiverr, we're going to format it for the app. We're going to make a marketing plan, you know, all that stuff is going to come soon. So. Don't miss out on that. If you like this video, please leave a like down below, subscribe, and I'll see you later.